When you think about iconic American audio companies, the list is pretty short. Clips would certainly be on most music lovers' top five, if not the very top. Their heritage speaker products have been bringing smiles to faces and, as Klipsch likes to say, waking the neighbors for decades. As they became more successful, they have entered categories beyond conventional speakers. Klipsch has a goal to expose their hallmark sound to as many music lovers as possible. They have felt, as many speaker companies have for years, that physically having to wire speakers up to an amplifier is a limiting factor to some people wanting music in their homes. This is especially true when you consider how many connections a typical home theater has from a speaker standpoint. This is where WISA comes in. WISA is short for Wireless Speaker and Audio Association. They set out to make standards for the new world of wireless audio. Two things really stand out about the WISA standards. First, they're all about high-res audio, with their standard being 24-bit 96 kilohertz, which is actually twice the quality level of a CD player and far beyond most streaming services. Their standard also has almost zero latency, so you'll not have any lip sync issues with WISA enabled speakers in a home theater. Finally, the speakers stay fully in sync with each other and have less than one one millionth of a second in variance. Shortly after WISE was introduced to the market, Klipsch partnered with them to develop a lineup of wireless home theater speakers. Once they had the tech nailed down, Klipsch started thinking about how they could make a WISA based system with wider appeal. The new reference wireless home theater system is basically a cool set of wireless home theater building blocks. Clips previewed this system at the 2019 CES show where it won several best of show awards. Today's video is on the brand new Clips reference wireless home theater system. Clips took some of the most popular products from their reference home theater series to form the basics of their new reference wireless home theater system. There are three main speaker types in the system a bookshelf pair of speakers, a center channel, and a powered subwoofer. All three are very well made, just like all Klipsch models. The bookshelf pair is based on the R51M, which is a two-way mid-size bookshelf speaker. The wireless model adds the W to the model name, and it's RW51M. The center channel is derived from their R34C center channel. For a great bass foundation, Klipsch picked their R100SW sub. This is a super popular model in the reference series with its 10-inch spun copper IMG woofer that provides pretty amazing deep bass for its modest size for what is roughly about a 14-inch cube. The idea of the reference wireless series was to take these three great models and turn them into a system that would be the easiest home theater system ever to set up. For the Klipsch reference wireless home theater system, they basically took existing speakers that already sounded great and added WISA wireless technology and perfectly matching amps inside. Another big advantage of WISA is the lack of latency. For watching normal TV and movies, this is not a big deal, but for serious gamers, it is hugely important. You'll respond better during the game if the picture and sound are in perfect sync, which is exactly how WISA audio systems perform. While you only need one of these per system, you must have one in place. The one Clips recommends for theirs is the Axum Link, which sells for $229. You then need a device where the sound comes from. That's right, with WISA, you just can't Bluetooth or Wi-Fi connect to your wireless speakers. There is a good reason for this. By using the WISA transmitter, you're not dependent upon the network in your home for transmitting audio data. It's totally separate, which is how it can have high res with such low latency and perfect sync. However, the drawback is the audio source needs to be a part of the WISA alliance. Right now, there are three ways to set up the Clips system. The first way is to make an Xbox One X or S the heart of your system. An Xbox One is very flexible. It has the ability to do gaming, some can play all formats of Blu-ray disc including 4K, and they have a full feature set of streaming apps built in. You can connect an Axum link to the Xbox One and have all sorts of WISA wireless speaker options from Klipsch to choose from. The second way is to use a new 2019 LG OLED or NanoCell TV. In this situation, the Axum link connects to the TV and you'd use the TV for streaming video and audio or switch to any other sources you connected to the TV. The last way to set up the Clips system with WISA is to use a Mac or Windows 10 or higher PC as your video operations center. This way leans a little more towards the tech geek side, but just like with the Xbox One setup, the Axum link connects to the computer and talks to the wireless WISA speakers.
As we got further down the Weiser rabbit hole, we discovered some pros and cons to each method. While the LGTV method seems to be the most straightforward, it gives you the least amount of possible options for your wireless clip system. The potential options in the WISA world range from a basic two-channel setup, or 2.0, to full 7.1 surround, and everywhere in between. A list of the speakers needed for each option can be found in the written review of the reference wireless home theater system on audioadvice.com. It's pretty cool to be able to start out small and add speakers for a more immersive experience without having to add any more wires. With a single transmitter, the options range in price from $1,028 to $3,889. The Xbox and computer setups give you all of these options, but with an LG TV, you only have a choice of 2.0 or 5.1. Now granted, those are probably by far the most typical use cases, but you are limited to those for now. Also, LG does not have a big choice of music apps available. This could change, but right now it's only Spotify and Pandora. Probably the best way to get your music into the LG TV setup is with an Apple TV and AirPlay 2 or a Chromecast box. Either of these would let you get music from your phone. We should note that like the Xbox and computer solutions, the LG TV would let us choose a music NAS drive on our network for all our RIP files as well. The Xbox One solution gives you more options in the choice of any TV, but you'll have to use the Axum app for volume control, which does seem a little clunky. And remember, for any of these combinations, you will need one Axum Link box. Klipsch sent us a 5.1 rig for testing, so we were good to go with an LG TV. First, we had to get things set up, which was actually pretty straightforward. You plug the Axum into a USB port on the TV, plug everything in, and power things up. The TV sees you have a WISA system in place, and the very first time you'll have to identify which speakers are where for the RW51Ms. You choose a speaker, push play test tone, and a tone comes out of one speaker. If, for instance, the right speaker starts playing, but it's actually the left speaker, you just go to the drop-down menu and tell the system it's really the left front. You repeat this until everything lines it up, and you only have to do this once. The next question was, well, what about speaker levels? For levels, you need to have the Axum app. And right now, there are no test tones, so you have to just experiment until you feel the levels sound about right. Our listening tests showed us what we expected. Klipsch speakers have always had an effortless sound due to their relatively high efficiency. But when you put the amps inside the speakers, it gets even better. We tried the system in both 2.0 and 5.1 and felt for music, the RW51Ms by themselves had excellent imaging and separation of instruments. So the question that came into our heads was, is the WISA price of admission worth the cost? A complete 5.1 reference wireless system will set you back about $3,090. If you bought the passive models, they add up to $1,376, plus say you need $500 to $750 more for a home theater receiver, making about $1,000 more for the wireless option. The sound is certainly more effortless with the amps on board, but the exciting part about this system is it will open up great home theater sound to a group of people who just could never wire their space for the full experience. For many lovers of movies, this will allow them to put in a great sounding home theater system without any wiring at all, and it's also easily able to move to their next living space. This makes it especially attractive to younger people who tend to move around more often than their parents. While it can take as much as a day to wire up a room for a full 5.1 surround sound system, you can have the Clips Wireless Home Theater System up and running in about the same amount of time it took you to get it out of the boxes. While the Clips Reference Wireless System is not inexpensive, it sure solves a lot of problems for many people. If wiring is impossible in your space and you've been dying to get the full surround sound experience, this is a setup you've been waiting for. We like the fact you can start small and grow with it over time too. Plus, the fact that it's software-based should allow for some pretty cool updates over time. Audio Advice is an authorized dealer of high-performance audio products from great brands around the world. If you have questions or need audio advice, you can chat with an expert at audioadvice.com, call us or visit one of our two world-class showrooms in Raleigh and Charlotte, North Carolina.